So just a reminder that this Saturday, the 25th of November from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. is the men's adoration in Derry, in St. Columbus, Derry. Um, I'm doing encouraging men from around Ireland to please come uh, and adore our Lord. A big shout out to um, Mickey Hart, who will be leading us, helping us to lead in the rosary with Dana. If anyone hasn't bought his book, Devotion, I do encourage you to read it. I don't think in Ireland, um, Mickey needs any introduction. Um, he's the Derry football manager. And we've, we've as Irish, we've followed with, with a lot of sadness um, some of the events that has happened in the family. And again, I don't think he needs an introduction here in Ireland. But um, just a big thank you for, 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 to Mickey for taking the time to, to come to be with us in Derry. Uh, um, to help us with the rosary uh, during this 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 upcoming Saturday. So I'm just encouraging men around Ireland to please come to Ireland to please come to Derry this Saturday. I didn't. Um, to many people who are wondering the history of how this happened, how this the men's adoration happened last year. Uh, I've blogged about it on other videos, but it was a uh, it was a calling in Medjugorje. <laughs> Um, and I've, as I've said many times, I, I'm not a Medjugorje person. It wasn't a Medjugorje um, follower at all. Didn't really, wasn't really interested in, in that. And then um, last year, my son, in last, last August, my son got uh, knocked over by a car near our house. Uh, and it was the ver just before he was knocked over by a car, a man in a prayer group, he gave me a, a rosary from Medjugorje that very day. And my wife then, after he was knocked over, he was perfectly fine, you know, in hospital, the whole thing. Uh, not, a, not a scratch on him. My wife said, oh, it's a miracle he wasn't knocked over. And, just, and so I was looking at these rosary beads and I said, I, I better just go. Somebody had invited me to go to Medjugorje, a friend of mine here. And I said, I better go to, to Medjugorje, which I did uh, the following month, the end of September. And in Medjugorje, um, strongly felt the call of Our Lady to, to organize um, adoration and dairy. Um, and I and I, I don't know how to, I just, I just really felt that this is, this was the call from heaven just to do adoration, uh, and I didn't really know how am I going to go back and organize this in Ireland to like, and I and I, rem I remember meeting a man called Jim Crossan from Derry. I said, oh, Jim, I feel that this is what, what we're called to do, and uh, and he he understood. He he backed me up. He he believed me, <laughs> and uh, it, there's a lot of other pieces to the story that I could add in it wasn't just that it was um, I was with Roger Book the author uh, in the Spurn Mountains the first Friday of September before I went to Medjugorje and he was saying Robert you should get up to Derry and meet those men I said yeah I'll get up to Derry I'll get up to Derry but um, when we went to Derry it was uh, those men that I was supposed to meet um, than uh, were there in Derry, so it a lot of things came together, and uh, and I just said, look, nothing is nothing bad will come from organizing this adoration. I knew that nothing bad is going to come from organizing this adoration. It's it's just something that 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 you know us Catholics do, and I said, look, if I I don't know how to interpret what Our Lady is saying to me in Medjugorje. But I'll, I'll just do it. I'll just have faith. You know, if it's from God, it, it'll it bring bring something for the Irish church. And if it's not from God, well, nothing bad is going to come from adoration and confession. Nothing's bad. And uh, and so we, we organized the adoration last last year. It was the 19th of November last year, which was the eve of Christ the King. And, you know, 800 men did turn up. And many of those men that had never confessed in many years went to confession and were able to get some ray of light into their life. And there was two men that reached out that were suicidal and they, they found it was a powerful event to see 800 men in prayer, you know, singing when we were doing the, the, the rosary. It was powerful to see that, that, that fraternity, that brotherhood. Okay, there's other men that are here and they're not perfect men. 
you know we're, we're not perfect but we love our lord and if something i've learned we can't do things but our lord can do things you know we 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 can we can let a higher power help us with the problems in our lives and uh, you know the, it, it was a beautiful event it was it was absolutely a beautiful event if anybody's been to st columbus long tower it's absolutely a beautiful uh, chapel so that's really the history i didn't go looking for this i can tell you i didn't go looking for this 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 landed in my 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 lap you know a lady on top of Krujivats, giving me this vision of the adoration in Derry. and um uh, and I just said, look, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and do it. So we're repeating this this year. It may not be an annual thing in Derry uh, because uh, we might we might do somewhere else. But I'm just encouraging to Catholics, Catholic men to see it for what it is. A chance to adore, adore our Lord, a chance to pray with other men, a chance to get to Derry this upcoming Saturday uh, at 2 to 5 p.m. for the men's adoration will be the largest men's Catholic men's event on the island this year as far as I'm aware and it's it should be something that we're all united as Catholics either we believe in the Eucharist as Catholic men or we don't you know whether, whether whatever mass you go to it is our Lord there present on the altar body blood soul and divinity his beating heart and uh, you know come and help others you know there's a lot of men struggling around this island a lot of men that haven't an ounce of have a clue what the catholic faith is haven't a clue never been told never been catechized and they might see this video they might see what is happening you know if you see a couple of hundred men walking into a church might say well what are they doing what do they have they see these men seem to have have it all together i mean i think how mickey hart navigated the very difficult things in his life really inspired a lot of Catholics around Ireland really inspired how that man lived his faith and I'm so glad that he's able to come to the adoration this Saturday and I'm encouraging it I'm encouraging it to I'm encouraging you to use it as a time of evangelization as a time of mission if we do not stand up and be men of mission Catholic men of mission in 2023 we are failing the church. We are failing the next generation. Are we just going to sit back and look at the statistics year after year? Oh, 500 men took their life. Oh, there's 20,000 men with severe cocaine addiction in Ireland. 20,000 men with severe cocaine addiction. I'm not talking about the severe cocaine addiction. And not to mention the amount of men suffering from other addictions in Ireland. You don't talk about it. Nobody cares to shine the light on it. How do you how do you minister to that? How do you help? I think it's an utter tragedy that we are failing to preach this beautiful gospel. And I can understand why Our Lady is asking us as men to minister in this area, to show other men, look, there is a way out of what you're suffering. You don't need to go through that pain that you're suffering. You know, you can find you can find help with 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 an encounter with Christ, the higher power. I mean, it's we. You talk about it in the twelve step program. If anybody's done it, you know, uh, well, you can't change. But you know, we 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 submit our will to a higher power, which is our Lord. You know, who can help. And uh, so, anyway, not to go on too long, but I do encourage people to come to Derry this this Saturday. There are talks in Thermobacca. I do encourage people to come to the talks on Friday evening from 6 p.m. onwards. So you'll have uh, Jean Curie, you'll have, um, who's coming over from uh, London. He's the author of Praying with the Heart. He's founded the, the School of Mary and will give you good he, the way, he will have some books there you can talk to him you can get some information on on the the work he's doing on the prayer life very important we, we form ourselves as to understand the prayer life it's a beautiful journey get on it start come to it so we have that the talks on friday evening father stephen quinn is there as well we'll have a panel from the Curcio movement on saturday morning if you're staying over there will be mass in thermobacca with the carmelites at 8 a.m then we'll have some a few talks uh anto crossy will be there with us and he, he will talk about walk the cross which is you know a, that's a whole talk in itself it was quite amazing 
and um, you know we'll have something some lunch and then we will have the adoration there Dana will there will be there uh, helping us uh, Mickey Mickey Hart will be leading the rosary and we will have Father Jared Mungan also there among us and uh, um, the voice of St. Patrick as people will remember in in uh, in, uh, in light the fire so um, you know it's 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 a beautiful time to be Catholic it's a it's a time of mission and I'm encouraging men to get up to Derry this Friday and Saturday if you can I know it's a commitment I know it's far up the north of Ireland um, I know it's it's you know it's a few hours out of your day, but uh, it's once a year, and you know I take the time. Remember the men that don't know the faith that this they will come. We we need to be there to help them, you know. If we don't stand up, because the, the structures we had in the Irish Church are gone, you know. The, 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 Ten thousand plus religious we used to have in Ireland, they no are no longer here working in the church. Most of them are retiring, or retired, and it's uh, we need as lay men now we need to step it up to show other men the beauty of our faith. We need to catechize. We need to instruct. We need to help. We need to pray with others. Really important. So that's the encouragement I'm giving to get up to Derry this. This Saturday, 2 to 5 p.m., massive thank you to Bishop Donal, massive thank you to Father Jared Mungan, to the Curcio movement, and to everybody helping us this Saturday. There will be lots of parking around there. Don't worry about parking. Just come up. There's parking all around St. Columbus. Um, and the, the, the Derry is, is, will, will, is well aware of these events whenever there's football on. There's also parking there. And uh, yeah, just please come up. Uh, there will be mass then that evening, that Saturday evening at 6 p.m. So you can stay for that. But I'm please, I'm encouraging you, please come up uh, this Saturday. Anyway, God bless you. And pray for the church. It's a, such a simple act of, of, of prayer, you know. And uh, I'm encouraging people just to, just to show your faith and to, and to bring healing to people that need it, you know. Because our Lord will do the healing if we just bring them bring people to know him to know that he that he's there to, to offer that healing that's all we have to do bring people to christ in the eucharist um anyway i know there will be healing from this there was healing last year there will be the healing this year i don't know who's going to how it works because it's our lord it's all our wor lord's work but let him do it god bless you take care bye bye